With scientists claiming a breakthrough in nuclear fusion technology, much is being discussed about its use as a clean alternative to power the world. In the next few minutes, we will decode how big of a splash this breakthrough truly is. We will also explore some other futuristic and ambitious technologies which hold a promise for a greener world. The latest technological breakthrough, that is nuclear fusion, promises to eliminate radioactive waste. It brings together two atoms so close that they fuse together. This in turn releases exponential amounts of energy, which powers the stars. But as of now, scientists are yet to unlock this potential in a lab to bring this promise of clean energy minus the radioactive waste to our homes. This could take decades, but a planet in peril needs immediate solutions and the clock is ticking away. Again, nuclear power plants across the world have been harnessing immense energy stored inside an atom for decades now. They did this by splitting apart a heavy atom into two. And what followed was an outward flow of energy of unimaginable proportions. This energy is then channelized to light millions of houses without a trace of smoke. But the process does leave behind a massive amount of radioactive waste. And disposing of this waste remains a big challenge across the world. Talking about unlocking the potential of futuristic tech, geoengineering appears to be a promising arena. The range. They range from building giant mirrors in space to reflect sunlight, to painting the roofs of buildings, to help counteract heat waves in cities. So let's now take a look at some of these ambitious projects that scientists have proposed to safeguard our planet. The most popular and perhaps advanced one of these is what is known as stratospheric aerosol injection. And what exactly does this mean? Sulfur dioxide would be released into the stratosphere to gather around the poles. The idea is that aerosol will have a similar effect to ash clouds from volcanoes which reach a high altitude and then reflect sunlight bringing down temperatures on Earth. But there are many questions which arise. Firstly, on the moral side. Secondly, do we have enough resources and technology to implement these ideas? And finally, the risk factor. What if we implement these plans? Will they have a boomerang reaction on our climate plans? Wherein, rather than saving our precious home, we just deteriorate the current situation and make it worse. And for more insights, we are now being joined by Dr. Brian Appleby from London. He's a scientist working on nuclear fusion at the Imperial College London. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Hello. So how excited are you at the prospect of this nuclear fusion breakthrough as a tool to fight climate change? Well, I think I would say that I am extremely excited by the scientific results. Um, the experiments that happened last week have demonstrated a, a proof of principle that we can produce energy through nuclear fusion in a controlled manner. Um, so really the experiments are notable because of that scientific achievement. However, there are many other technological achievements that we need to overcome in order to turn this into a commercialized power source. And it is very difficult to say exactly how long that will take. So I think it would be quite unwise of us to say that this, this specific result last week is something that we can use to directly combat climate change anytime soon. It is likely that it will take, you know, lot, a lot longer on the scale of decades to get a, a useful fusion energy source. Right, Brian, that actually brings me to my next question. Experts are saying that it will take decades before we can harness this energy and its potential. But the question is, does our planet have that much time, given the peril posed by climate change? Um, I would say that in order to combat climate change, we cannot rely on nuclear fusion. We will have to take a much more global approach to reducing emissions, look, looking at you know solutions like carbon capture. So really, we cannot rely on nuclear fusion as a way of combating climate change. But in the very long run, it can be an extremely useful energy source for us. Right. Now, the other option to fight climate change is, of course, a new concept known as geoengineering. It sounds very scientific and very technical. Uh, it's used to cool the planet. One of the more ambitious projects that comes under it uh, is known as stratospheric aerosol injection. Now, according to you, how viable is this? Well, 
it's an area that I'm not an expert in, so I shouldn't comment, comment directly on that particular technique. But what is clear is that we need a mix of all these of different approaches. We need to develop you know, multiple different energy sources that are renewable, things like solar power, wind power, et cetera. Um, and maybe in that mix in the long run, we can have nuclear fusion. And at the same time, techniques that can reduce the amount of carbon in the atmosphere, I think that they should also be deployed. And you know, looking at those and investigating how to deploy them in a safe manner is a very useful um, thing to be doing. Right, Brian, thank you so much for joining us and thanks for all your inputs. Thank you. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.